ensure that the mounting surface is clean and free of debris before installing the new tensioner. To install the new tensioner, replacement is the reverse of removal. Place the new tensioner against the engine block using the locating feature on the tensioner for accurate placement. There are three main types of locating features. Index pin, cast lug, multi-bolt pattern. Insert the existing mounting bolt or new bolt if provided. Tighten mounting bolt snugly making sure the index pin is still in the hole. Finish tightening the bolt with a torque wrench. Check manufacturer's recommended amount of torque before using the wrench. Verify you are installing the correct belt by stretching it next to the old belt. This will help ensure belt width and length. Also check the part number on the belt label. Referring to your routing diagram, route the new belt around the accessories and pulleys. Make sure it fits properly in all grooves and that it is centered on all idler pulleys. Leave the belt off of the tensioner pulley with all slack gathered there. Place the belt over the grooved pulleys first, then the smooth idler pulleys. Remember, ribs to ribs and flat to flat. This will simplify the installation. In some applications, the tensioner pulley may not be the best pulley to be routed last during the belt installation. In this case, select another pulley component to be routed last. Rotate the tensioner arm and pulley to the installation stop position. While holding the tensioner in this position, move the belt toward the engine and under or over the tensioner pulley, depending on whether it is a flat or grooved pulley. Check that the belt is engaged in the pulley grooves. Slowly allow the tensioner arm to rotate and engage the belt. Let's see that again.